Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Continuing our lesson on generative AI tools, we're now going to talk about the generative AI expand option. Now, let's just say I'm looking at this image, and this was taken with a phone, and it was taken in portrait mode. And I'd really like to have this image in more of a landscape, but I don't have any content or data or information or anything kind of graphic or visual to fill in anything if I'm going to make it wider. Well, that's where the beautiful Generative AI Expand option appears. Now, earlier we did Generative AI Fill, and it generated something for us based on the fact that we selected something. Now we're going to do things in a little bit different ways, where we're going to crop it out, but in a reverse way. Cropping typically means we're going to crop something inward, or we're going to kind of remove something. But you can also crop in a different way, where we're going to go in a reverse crop direction. So how do I do that? Well, very simply, I'm going to go over here to my crop tool. And you're going to see immediately my context menu goes here to a generative expand. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it outward. And I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and just go out like this, right? So if I know exactly my different dimensions, I can go ahead and just drag it out accordingly. Now, it does something pretty great, and you can say, okay, that's amazing, that's beautiful in terms of cropping out that way, but the amazing and the beauty has not even seen yet in terms of what we're going to put in there. Now, I don't really need to have any kind of drama behind here. I don't need to like put her in a cafe or anything like that. I just want it to fill in to match the background of what she's already got. So it's very simple. I don't put anything inside of this box. All I do is choose Generate. And once again, we're just going to wait and wait and wait. And again, Photoshop is aware of the fact that you have kind of done this reverse crop, and it's going to fill in that space. Look at my Layers panel now, and you're going to see here is Generative Expand. And look at my Properties panel. You see it's cooking up three new thumbnails for me to choose from. Okay, and again, I can choose any one of those, and again, I can also generate new ones if it doesn't do a satisfactory job. So let's wait, it's almost done. And countdown, let's see, here it comes, and amazing, amazing. Let's just take a look at this, just even before we even look at our other options, just see how it just recreated not just the wall, but the lighting is still the same all the way on this side. I mean, it's just so well balanced but maybe we're not satisfied. Let's just take a look at some of our other options here. Let's go to that one. And you're gonna see it might even just kind of create a whole new look that you may appreciate with kind of different stuff in the background. She's kind of in her studio or whatever. And just put this little line here, which you may or may not want. Okay, let's go over to this one. Let's take a look at one more. And again, not bad. I do prefer this first one. Okay, and if you do like it, you can always tell it, hey, you know what, this was pretty good. So, you know, let Photoshop know, even not in the bad stuff, that you do really like stuff. Okay, so let's encourage good behavior. So that's pretty neat. All right, now let's give it something a little bit more complicated to work with. Let's come over here to this one right there, and we're gonna see that we have this nice little family, and they're also in the woods, right? But they're actually really in the woods this time, and we need to make it so it's going to come out a certain width. So what we're gonna do this time, just notice here's my generative expand, crop is activated. Now, if you wanted to, you could choose from one of these preset ratios if it does work for you. In this case, I'm gonna go manual, but if you know exactly what you want, you can absolutely put that in. So let's go ahead and now just go more manual and coming out, 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 holding down my Alt or Option key. And I'm really gonna give Photoshop a little bit of work to do because there's some information to be filled in here. All these trees and the woods and the lighting and everything like that. So again, don't need to put anything in there for right now. Let's go ahead and just say Generate. Wait for it, it's doing its thing. And now I'm going to have a landscape image for them to have because this person took this photo in portrait no longer. Now this can be placed on their mantelpiece above the fireplace. 
And we're going to see again a few different options and remembering that we can also change the look and feel, the color, and all that good stuff separately because it is creating a new layer for us right on top. And look at that. It's as if they have been here the whole time and the camera took the picture the right way. And again, let's go ahead and one more time. Let's go ahead and take a look at a different version of this. Different version of that. Not too bad. And I am just ecstatic. This is just so perfect. All right. So just know these options are there. So try it out with all these amazing AI tools. Try it out with your fill. Try it out with your expand and everything really in between to be able to give you that kind of creative control to really just kind of give your images whatever kind of detail and content that you would like to see. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.